CCTV News, Vancouver Island Report. Good evening, I'm Andrew Johnson. Hudson Mack is off tonight. 2012 kicked off to a fiery and deadly start on Vancouver Island. For the second time in a week, a person has died in a trailer fire. At around 6 a.m. New Year's Day, flames consumed a fifth wheel on Cowichan Tribes land. Tonight, a 20-year-old woman is dead and a tight-knit community is in mourning. CTV's Chandler Grieve has more. It was a horrific way to ring in 2012. Early New Year's Day, flames broke out in this fifth wheel RV on Cowichan Tribe land, fully engulfing the home within minutes. One person was found dead in the smoldering rubble, and although police still need to identify the body, CTV has learned 20-year-old Crystal Joe of Duncan was the lone victim. Upon arrival, officers and fire officials found a structure fully engulfed in flames. It would appear that a fifth wheel travel trailer was being used as a temporary residence. Regretfully, uh, one person uh, whose identity has not yet been identified was found inside. It is the second deadly trailer fire in less than a week on Vancouver Island. Last Thursday, flames ripped through this trailer in central Saanich. One man was killed. The recent string of fires has the deputy fire commissioner concerned. Yeah, we're really quite concerned. There's just been a very uh, significant rash of, of uh, uh, fires uh, in uh, smaller residences such as uh mobile homes. Uh, you're living in a very confined space uh, and uh, fire can extend very rapidly in such uh, residences. The Cowichan tribe is still in mourning and the family is asking for privacy. We're very supportive of each other. That's one thing that I can honestly say about the Cowichan people is that we're there for each other. So right now there's a lot of support, a lot of prayers and just a lot of love surrounding this family in this time of tragedy. The cause of the fire is still unknown, but RCMP have yet to rule out foul play. Provincial fire officials as well as arson investigators will be attending to uh, see if they can determine that. But arson is not being ruled out? No, it's not. Police say they will remain at the scene overnight to make sure any evidence is not tampered with. Tomorrow, fire crews and investigators will move in and try to determine what caused the deadly fire. Vancouver Island's first of 2012. Chandler Grieve, CTV News, Duncan. Again, RCMP say an autopsy still needs to be performed on the body found in the trailer, but sources do tell CTV News the victim was the 20-year-old woman.